Hiya, just a quick video on the recolor artwork function in Illustrator. Um, I used to avoid it because I didn't really understand how to use it, but it's such a time saver it really is worth getting to grips with. I'm not quite there yet, but I'm getting there. Um, yesterday I had a big problem just trying to change um, these black badges to white. So I finally figured out what my problem was and I just thought I'd come and share it with you in case you've had a similar problem. So here's what I was doing. I was selecting all of my badges and come into edit, edit colours, recolor artwork. Actually you know what, let's cancel out of that because I wanted to make a copy of them first. So I'll just hold down the alt key and drag out a copy. Right, now they're on my black background. So I want to reverse the colours of the badges. I want to make the white black, and I want to make the black white. So, again, edit, edit colours, recolor artwork. And you can see the two colours in my document here. So normally, I would just double click on this little box here, and pick the colour I wanted to change it to. You could either pick it from here, or you could open your swatches and choose a colour from your swatch. I don't have any colours in there, so. So yeah, I'll double click and pick white because I want all my black to be white. And then I would double click here, but there's no box. So as soon as you click, you get this um, warning or question. Do you want to add a new colour to the current harmony? So I'll click OK. Oh great, now I've got a box, so I can double click on it and choose black. Well, it's actually not black I used, it was kind of a charcoal colour. So there you go, I'll choose my charcoal colour, click OK and nothing was happening. It was driving me absolutely nuts. So let's cancel out of that. Um, what I should have been doing is edit, edit colours, recolour artwork, now, this little box here is where the problem lays. Open the dialog, and it's these checkboxes preserve white and black. That's why it wasn't changing the colors like I expected it to. So, uncheck those boxes because we don't want to preserve the colors, and then click OK. Um, like I said, I'm not that familiar with the recolor artwork. So I don't know what's going on here. These two boxes have turned into one and don't really know what's going on. So I'm just going to click OK to close the dialog and I'm going to reopen it and hope it looks like this. Yay! <laughs> so I know what to do with this. Right, so double click on your little black box and change it to white. And then double click on your little white box and change it to black or charcoal and click OK and there we go so yeah finally <laughs> um, it's taken me ages to figure that out in the past I've just um, I've gone the long way around and just gone through each badge um, and picked you know each element separately and gone into the appearance panel and changed the colour but that takes forever so yeah, recolor artwork is a really handy function and hopefully I can learn a bit more about it and um, use it to its full usefulness. So anyway, I hope this helped and uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Thank you.